Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Let's talk vinyl. It's that time again. I'm going to talk about some vinyl records that I have added to my collection recently. Three to show you. Technically it's four. Well it is four, but by three bands. Let's just get on with this. The first one I'm going to show you. The Mighty, My Dying Bride. From Halifax in West Yorkshire in the UK. This is their debut. EP from 91. This is a 2016 reissue by Peaceville. I've got this on OG CD, but it's an absolute classic. And a, the song um, Symphonaire Infernus Aspira Imperium is an all time classic of the, the genre. You know, My Dying Bride may not necessarily be the pioneers, if you will, of death doom. That We can argue with that one. But these guys were certainly, for me, the pioneers of sort of death doom with that gothic edge to it. Straight away, when you listen to this this song especially, the length of it, you know, it goes on for, for ages, whatever it is, 10, 12 minutes long. But there's there's everything in there, from the violins and the... The, the sort of the contrast in sound you know from Aaron's anguish sort of growls it was just a real breath of fresh air especially in 91 you know and, and a big inspiration for, for me as a musician and, and the lads in enchantment you know just a fabulous piece but I um I won some money from Metal Marty Mac when he was running his contest a while ago and this is one of the things that I bought from that, which I haven't shown a video before. So thank you, Marty. There's the boys, I'll show you that quick. Picture is as atmospheric as the music. There's not a lot to see really inside, but I'll, I'll show you anyway. The vinyl. Uh, there's no inner sleeve, but I'll just show you the, uh, you can see the, uh, the center labels anyway. But yeah, something like I say, I have it on OG CD, but I really fancied it on vinyl because um, it is such a a big, a big sort of inspiration and um, a big part of my sort of journey, my my death metal, my death doom metal journey. The other tracks are God Is Alone and Dessard Soliloquy. Made me laugh actually though, because on the hype sticker it says. Um, the 1991 debut Peaceful Studio release from the Doom Metal Gods on vinyl with two additional tracks. But those two tracks are on the CD as well. So, threw me a bit. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I've done my homework, so I knew what to expect. That's it, my dying bride. Oh, the vinyl's come out. Give me a second, guys. Can't be having that, can I? Okay, next up, we have got... This is a band from Bangkok in Thailand. This is their 2021 release, and I believe it's their third release, and not a band that I'd, I'd heard of before. <clears throat> and this is the band Savage Deity, and their album, a Decade of Savagery. Excellent, old school death metal. Just excellent riffs. It, it, it's fast in places, but it's never sort of blasting, you know, like it's got that real old school feel. Some great, great guitar in, I mean, musically and musicianship wise, it's fabulous. Let's just get this out of here so you can see it a little bit better. Nice glossy cover on that. But it's got everything you want from a death metal album. From the artwork, great cover. They look the part everything about it the logo but musically you know they've got chugging riffs they've got the finger picking riffs they've got great lead work great melodies in there it's just a fabulous record um, and a bit of a blind buy if i'm honest with you i wasn't what's fell out there that's just a little uh a little sort of card it's not a sticker or anything just a little card well, yeah, a bit of a blind buy, to be honest. Um, lyrics there on one side. It's a proper nice uh, glossy card inside. And a bit of a thanks list, tell you what's going on there. 
the way it's produced and what have you. Um, got a guest guitar solo by Jason Goble from X Cynic and X Monstrosity. So, you know, top musicianship throughout. It's just brilliant. Um, black vinyl. Oh, no, it's not. I tell a lie. Clear vinyl. Look away now, Roger. Look away now. And Andy, Cloudy Milder. He doesn't like clear vinyl. I'm not bothered, to be honest. But, um, yeah, excellent, superb old school death metal. Vocalist um, reminds me very much of John Walker from cancer that that kind of feel but yeah absolutely brilliant and for a blind buy it's excellent i i, I know you don't need to blind buy anybody but there's something about it that i i still love you know maybe it's that old school uh, spirit in me that's never going to go away is it savage deity and decade of savagery and last but not least and this is two like I say, by the same band I'm going to show you. And these were albums that I turned 50 last year and the boys in Contact in Blood had a little um, whip around and sent me some money. So uh, thank you very much for that, boys. And this is what I put that money towards. Obituary, slowly rot, live and rotting. And the cause of death one live infection so these were live recordings done by obituary last year um i think i'm not even sure if they were a live stream that they did but these have been compiled and sort of edited so um let's take the slip cases out the slip cases out let's take the sleeves off yeah so it's it's the album's in full but played live and these boys have still got it, but you wouldn't expect anything else, would you? Because, um, you know, they play so often live. They're constantly touring and playing, but um, I don't need to tell you anything about Obituary. If you, if you watch me and my channel, you know what Obituary is all about. One of the greatest... Um, old school death metal bands out there that is bright green that in it jesus that is as green as the slow we rock written on the uh, album cover let me show you the other one cause of death slightly different cover as you can see but you know what you're getting there don't you this is um i'm not going to argue with anyone about it but for me this is one of the greatest albums ever recorded one of the greatest death metal albums ever made. It was one of the main reasons why I fell in love with death metal. You know, John Tardy's voice. There's the vinyl for that. It's still nice and bright, that, isn't it? Jeez, bright red. Um, yeah, John Tardy's voice, just, um, th there was no way when you heard that back in the day you, even if you weren't into death metal, there was no way your ears weren't going to just prick up and you're like, oh, what is that about? But um, yeah, brilliant. These guys, like I say, have still got it. Brilliant. Trevor Perez, what a guitarist he is. I, I, being a rhythm, sort of predominantly rhythm guitar player myself, I've always, uh, I've always liked Trevor Perez. But um, yeah, fabulous releases. Cause of Death and... Slowly rock recorded live. That's it, guys, for today. In the background, we are listening to another one of my Discogs at random picks from my collection, Silosis. Their third album, I want to say it is from 2012. 2012, yeah, Nuclear Blast, a band from Reading, sort of a melodic thrash, melodic death metal band. Um, but you know, a UK band being signed to Century, not Century Media, to Nuclear Blast, it's always a big deal. But yeah, really good. 
I think these might have featured, well they did feature in my uh, UK thrash collection video that I did a while ago. Silosis and Monolith. That's it. As always, thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch me um, talking about music. Um, and I'll be back with another video where it'll be me talking about music very soon. All the best, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.